Hi, I'm Pastor Dave with Declaration Church. As, an, as I'm recording this video, it is Christmas Eve, and that brings so much excitement for me. But I know that the holiday season and Christmas doesn't always bring excitement and joy and happiness. There are so many other emotions and things that come with the holiday season and come with Christmas, and there's a ton of added stress that gets put on our plates every single year because there's so much extra that we have to do. There's constantly something going on. The holiday seasons don't just necessarily bring excitement and joy. They can bring anxiety and stress and grief and all kinds of things as we engage with extra activities that are brought on by, our, by school, by, uh, by work, by family and friends. And there, so there's added cooking, added shopping, added wrapping, added decorating. There's more to do all the time. So we're throwing all this extra stuff on our plates and we start looking at the calendar. We start looking at things and time starts getting short. And so added stress comes with that. Anxiety over getting things done or interacting with people that we haven't seen for a year that are a little bit difficult for us to get along with. And so that can bring extra anxiety. And then there can be grief and sadness that comes along with not being able to see friends and family that we love for whatever reason that might be. Maybe geographically graphically in the travel, especially with this pandemic continuing to hold on to the world, maybe travel restrictions or where they live in their calendar being unable to make the trip because of time constraints. Maybe you can't go to them. And so there's that divide there. Maybe someone's passed away. And so there's grief associated with that as you're not going to be able to see them this holiday season like you normally would have done or have in the past. And so all of those things come with the holidays. And yet, that's not what God intended for us when he came and presented that very first Christmas, even though that added stress has been around since the first Christmas, at least for Jesus's family. Think about it. Mary is pregnant. Joseph has to travel with his pregnant wife from Nazareth to Bethlehem. They get to Bethlehem. This is not a planned trip. This is something that's been laid on top of them by the government. They travel south. They get where they need to be. And yet there's no place for them to stay other than where they house the animals. So they have to stay in a manger. And then they lay Jesus in a feeding trough after Jesus is born, which I mean, I don't know if you've ever been through this, Okay, as women, if you've been through it, you understand the labor process and what that's like delivering a child. But there's added stress for dads as well in that process a lot of times. And so there's all kinds of added stress in this situation. And then in the fields, there are these shepherds just doing what they normally do. They're keeping watch over the sheep at night. And all of a sudden, an angel shows up, announces the birth of Jesus, and then a whole host of angels are hanging out and this is what they say. This is what God wants for us this holiday season, is this announcement that they make. It says, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace among those with whom he is pleased. Peace. God wanted us in the coming moments of his son's birth, in the moments from the point that Jesus was born, even through till now, God wants us to have peace. He wants us to have a peace that doesn't change or fluctuate or dissipate because of the circumstances that are going on in our lives. He wants us to have a peace that is an anchor for us. And that peace is found through our relationship with him. When Jesus shows up, he brings peace. And he did that for his disciples and he left his peace for them. In fact, he said, I'm going to go to my father, but my peace I leave with you. Because God wants us to have peace. In the midst of the extra cooking and the extra travel and the shopping and the financial stress and all of the things that come with this season, God wants you to have peace. And I hope that's encouraging to you. If that's an encouragement to you, go ahead and give the video a like. But it's also a challenge because what we need to do a lot of times, rather than press on and keep going and stay busy and stay active, what we need to do is actually take a step back, take a deep breath and engage with Jesus on a very personal level. Really engage in that relationship with him and allow his peace to override all of the stress and anxiety and grief and all of the emotions that come with this Christmas season. 
So that's my challenge for you today. Take a step back. Take a deep breath. Allow Jesus to minister to you. Engage with him on that personal level and receive the peace that only he can provide. Because God's desire for you in this holiday season is that you would have peace through the relationship with him. It's the only way we can have it. And it's the kind of peace that we all need. If this has been encouraging or challenging to you, again, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and click on the bell so you're notified every time that we post new content. Thank you so much for allowing me in this holiday season, on this Christmas Eve, to be a part of your faith journey. I hope you'll continue to allow me to be a part of that, and we can walk together as we grow as disciples of Jesus. As always, I'm Pastor David, and I'm out. Merry Christmas.